It's Brian from Permagreen. It's that time of year. What, you go out to pull that rope, right, and it won't start on your machine? Before you think about ordering an engine, let's go through the car. If you haven't done that, there are three 10 millimeter screws. Take them out. This carb's going to basically slide off. Yeah, you'll have to unhook a little linkage on top here. But once you do that, you got the carb. Kind of drip the excess gas out of there. 10 millimeter wrench. You're going to take the bowl off. This gasket normally is in good shape. Normally all the Honda gaskets remain intact when you do this. But that goes there. Now you're going to drop this bowl. You may wind up with excess gas in there. Dump that out, not a problem. And you may get funny colors in here because this gas station gas goes bad so fast nowadays. I've seen it turn green, it's turned brown, you know. Jelly, glue, oof, it's nasty. So right here, we're gonna pull it afloat. This pin comes out like this. This is your float and this is your needle. Rubber tip on there. Usually hold up pretty well. You don't have to replace these. But that tip goes inside here. You got that, Ashley? Mm -hmm. That's the seat. So what happens is when this gas station gas goes bad after a while, it turns to glue, pretty much. Log cabin syrup, we call it. So, spray some of that in there. That'll get rid of any varnish. You want to spray this tip like this. And then... Reassembly is the same way. Going to get this black pin. Let's go there, Ashley. That black tip goes inside that seat. See that? Now, I'm going to grab your pin. I'll try not to move much, huh? Slide it right back in here like this. Now, this float goes up and down. See that? That's a working float. Now we're going to go after the main jet. This is where the, the gas, when it turns to glue, it's not good. This is a brass screw in here, so you want to make sure that you get a, a flat screwdriver that fits in there pretty well. I'm going to take this down to the bench, Ashley. Here's your main jet for your carb right here, okay? You keep dumping out. Come on. This is called the emulsion tube. I don't know if you can see that. See all the holes in there? It's like 15 of them, 16 of them. So what I do is I take one of these tags, like this. Any small piece of wire. You don't want to make the hole bigger, you just want to clean it out. Go through that hole, go through that hole, go through that hole. So you're going to go through all, however many holes there are here. Take some spray cleaner. Spray it out there. You want this good and clean. And then when you're done, motion tube back in like that. Now this also we're going to run a wire through. Make sure this is clean. Look how small that is. You know, you get this gas station gas, it's going to plug that up. Your machine's not going to run or it's not going to run well. So you make sure that's clean. Shot in there. Burp, burp. This goes back in. See how it goes in? With the slot side facing you, so you can use a screwdriver on it. Whoop. Just like that. And then when you tighten this up, you don't want to crank down on it, you just want to snug it. Okay, it is a brass screw, like I said, so. It goes in, boom. Now, bowl goes back on. Make sure your rubber gasket is intact, which it should be. Drop that back on. 10 millimeter nut. Nut. This is a bolt. I'm a nut. Thank you. Tighten this up, and you always want to snug this. You don't want to use an impact. Guys, I know you're in a hurry. Oh, just put an impact on. No, 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 no. Got to do it by hand. Don't do that. Now, most people would say, we're done. No. This is a lot of people forget this one. See this black plastic screw? Take this out. Come on now. Take a small 
and you're going to pry up on this plastic. This is your air mixture jet. That hole is super small in there. So this piece of wire may not do it in this case. No, nope, it's not going to. So what you want to do is, if you have an old throttle spring, take a, a piece of an old throttle spring, really small wire. It's got to go through there. That hole's got to be open. I know this one is. This carb's good. But that will keep your machine from running well. Make sure that's cleaned out. Where does it go? It goes right back in here. See the flat side here? I'm going to put it in. Push down with your finger. That's back in. This screw holds it in. So here's the thing about this screw. A lot of people call me and they say, Brian, I can't get my thing, uh, my machine to idle correctly. This screw, as you turn it in from here, it's going to raise your idle. As you lower it, it's going to lower your idle. Just a little tip. So hey, before you buy an engine, go through your car. It's simple, costs you nothing. If you need any more help, call us at Permagreen, 1-800-346-2001, extension 108. See ya.